to add a new calendar, we have a basic calendar, but you can have separate calendars inside. On the left side, click on the plus sign and then create a new calendar. Give it the title. Maybe you want this one to be a shared one for Friday meetings. And so I need this specific calendar to be shared with certain people. Then I'll click on create calendar. You will have an option on the side to click on that calendar. And then you have options and settings to make. If you want it available for everyone to see, you will say see all events. This means that when I'm inviting someone to my calendar, they can see what is on my calendar. If you want it to be where they can see if your time is open or not, you can change this to only busy. Then when they look, they won't see it says meeting with Susie, it'll say busy. So it depends on how much you want your calendar to be open for others to see or whether you just want them to see the time is blocked off. And down below, you have a spot where you can invite others to your calendar. And that is where you can add people. So if I want this shared with my team and then we all see the meeting calendar, that's where I would add people and just type in their name. And if you decide you don't want your calendar, you can delete. If you want it to be hidden, if you don't want it there anymore, click on the little eyeball and it will hide from your list and then it won't show up. But you can always come back and make it show up again. And that is how you can set a calendar. If you do not want it to show on your list here, you can uncheck it and then it will hide. Um, it usually has a birthday one or a holidays. So if I go back, so Independence Day is showing. If I don't want that there, I can uncheck the holidays and it will take that calendar off. So anytime you want to hide it, you just uncheck and they will go away.